to and then coming out and saying some stuff. I got scammed. I got scammed from an investment that I made from one of, one of your favorite, not you specifically, but just I got scammed from a, a, an investment that I made, six-figure investment that I still don't have my money back. You six figures. Like 100000 or 200000 Closer to two. Damn. Is yep. he black, white, or Hispanic? We'll leave that. We'll leave that for. Yeah. No, 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 nigga. No, no, yeah. no, nigga. Yeah, see, see. Is he I was black? Like, I knew if I come on here. I knew if I come on here, that somehow was gonna come up. Is he black? Is he white or is he Hispanic? He's he's a male. Is he black? Is he white or is he Hispanic? <laughs> Hispanic. Yep. No fucking way. Yep. No fucking way. I'm yep. out of here. Oh. Yep. No. We'll talk. No. We'll talk. Whoa, shit. Oh, shit. Yep. Yep. I don't see any reasons why I'll be doing business with niggas, and that's the reason my instincts don't be off, yo. Oh, yep. lordy, 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 lordy. A million. Don't do me now. You're going to try to get online and make me look like shit because then I'm going to come back with it. I'm going to come you, back you with see, this, And this is the thing. You could come back with whatever you want. I'm going to come back with the smoke. I just got off the phone with credit, dude. And credit told me that you were making things up. I just got off the phone with credit, dude. And you said he's making things up. I just got off the phone with him. So obviously, you are clout chasing because the main thing that you did was you added my name. Listen. What up, y'all? It's DJ Envy. Flippin' NJ. What up, y'all? It's DJ Envy. Flippin' NJ. Flippin NJ. Hey. What up, y'all? It's DJ Envy. Flippin' NJ. 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 What up, y'all? It's DJ MV. Flippin' NJ. What up, what up? It's DJ MV. Tonight, an I-Team exclusive investigation involving a real estate deal and one of the most recognizable voices in radio. Investors in a real estate venture say they were swindled out of millions of dollars. And they argue syndicated radio rapper Rashawn Casey, better known as DJ Envy from the show The Breakfast Club, promoted these deals. Investigative reporter Sarah Wallace talked to the alleged victims and has the response to those mounting accusations you're about to hear for the first time. We've helped so many people, not just regular people, but celebrities, mm -hmm. athletes, executives. That's and DJ Envy on his syndicated iHeartRadio show, The Breakfast Club. He's often promoted the real estate venture of his pal, Cesar Pina. You might know him on Instagram as Flippin' NJ. But it's more than just a passing endorsement. You could partner with us on some deals. Make some money with us. Envy and Caesar have teamed up for seminars, including one at the Jacob Javits Convention Center, pitching opportunities to flip properties, often in distressed areas of New Jersey. We invested $200,000 and looks like we're never going to get it back. Jose Santiago and his wife Jessica Ortiz say they believed investing in this neighborhood of Patterson would be their ticket to the American dream. That's the reason why I got into real estate, so we can actually start flipping properties, buying properties, so we can have something for our kids in the future. The couple says they connected with entrepreneur Caesar after seeing him on social media with DJ Envy. He's advertising this all over the radio and on television. I've seen shows of him all over the place, so I thought this was legit. The pitch to invest in rundown properties that would be renovated and flipped for more money. The promised return up to 30 percent. In some cases, Caesar didn't even own the properties. This couple took out $200,000 in equity from their Florida home, promised that 30 percent return within four months. Then they say nothing. I'm paying the interest right now every month, and 
I have nothing. Well, at this point, we just want our money back. Nigel Chamblin says he was conned by Caesar into investing $235,000 in that same Patterson property, along with two others, $300,000 each for homes in Hawthorne and in Maplewood. $835,000 in total on all three houses. There were other people investing in the exact same properties. It was a scam. It was a lie. <laughs> Augie Rios owns a custom auto wrap shop in Lodi, who says he worked on Envy's cars for years and believed his pitch. He did get back a return on an initial investment with Caesar, but maintains a second investment on this Patterson property went south. If it wasn't for DJ Envy, I would have never invested into Caesar. I lost a total of $64,000. After receiving two bounce checks, Rio says he got a visit from Caesar carrying this box of jewelry. He said, uh, take this jewelry until I can pay you back. How much did he say this was worth? 15, 20 grand. Then there's record producer Anthony Martini, who invested in what he thought was a promising apartment project in Patterson. I lost a million dollars. And you went in because of DJ Envy. Uh, yeah, I did. I mean, you know, I'd, I'd known Envy for for years. Martini's attorney has filed a lawsuit. Uh, some sort of Ponzi-like scheme where he's taking money uh, from one investor to pay off other other investors. You're looking at over forty million dollars invested with the Pinas and their companies. Breaking news here on Tony DeClosa's live. The complaint floodgates opened up when alleged victims started appearing on the social media platform of influencer Tony the Closer, a self-proclaimed real estate scam watchdog. I decided to make it where everybody would know the, the, the disgusting behavior that they're practicing. Dozens of lawsuits have now been filed against Caesar and his wife. Several also name Envy, who has sued Tony the Closer for defamation after also going on with him live. And there's nobody in here that could ever say Envy, they gave Envy a dollar. Envy, whose real name is Rashawn Casey, declined to talk to the I-team, referring us to a powerful Manhattan real estate attorney. He says the radio personality lost half a million dollars to the Pinas in an investment deal to transform this vacant school building in Patterson into rental units. He is a victim, just like the other alleged victims are in connection with the scam. Why, if he's a victim, hasn't he filed a lawsuit against the Pinas? He has a legal right to file whenever he deems fit. He is now contending with cases that are being filed every day improperly against him. Why not come out on his radio show and warn other alleged victims if he feels that he was? This is a, it's an ongoing, uh, they're ongoing litigations. Uh, and, and there's no room for them on you know, any sort of radio show. A lot of people say they bought in because of Envy's reputation. Does he not have some responsibility? Absolutely not. The only reason why Envy is sued is to sensationalize the case. The attorney is seeking dismissals of all the lawsuits. As for the Pinas, we caught up with Caesar's wife, Jennifer, in Bergen County. Do you have anything to say to the alleged victims? I say, you know, just hold tight and we're going to come through. You know, where's the money? Listen, that's a Caesar answer for you. I can't give you that answer. He wants to be here with you. He wants to do the sit down. He wants to have this interview. He wants to clear the air. He wants to explain his side and he wants people to understand what's going on. But, you know, he's been advised to not talk. There may be some hope for investors. A judge has appointed a bankruptcy court trustee to oversee some of the Pena's properties. Any available assets could eventually be sold off to pay alleged victims. From Patterson, Sarah Wallace, News 4 New York. Make sure you do your homework when it comes to anything. This is what I tell everybody all the time. You make sure you do your homework. Uh, I do feel like you're saying Caesar's guilty before hearing his side of the, the, the coin which I think is kind of crazy. I mean, anybody can say anything they want, man. I just seen today that I owe people money. I just seen all types of shit. But the thing is, I think you should have that man on here to have a conversation and give his side of the story. There's two sides of the story. Well, there's actually three sides of the story, right? His side, his side, and then what's the truth? And I think before somebody starts saying that somebody owes somebody money or somebody doing something wrong and making an accusing and an accusation, I think you need to have him on there and, and, and clear his own name up. Well, well I think... I think that's fair, but I also... And I tried, to, talk, like, I tried like, to call you today with him on the phone, and you said you were, you were clearly busy. 
So, so he's not the most don't, don't don't try to flip the narrative on me because did, that's did, bullshit. And did I, I, I did really, I not call you? I'm gonna really swing it because like I've been being nice and I've been trying to. You don't have to. Rolling. You don't have to be nice. Like, you, you, did you I not call you this morning? But Tony, you, did I did I not call you? Said I call you thirty minutes. But you know, but you know, you bullshitting too, right? I'm a bullshit because the fact the fact of the matter is that you know that Caesar been doing bad business and you just right now really trying to distance yourself because you don't want to be implicated with it. You know that he's been fucking people over. He fucked you over. He owes you money. You told me last night he owes you money. Like this ain't me making up shit. This ain't me just coming out and attacking anybody. This is real people. And no, this, 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 it's like even like your man, the credit dude, that was a part of y'all your whole situation, bro. He he he's out of one hundred and fifty thousand. And Nick was out here talking about committing suicide. See, see, you, you you can't play me like I'm the nigga that's just cloud chasing the door some bullshit. I'm really he, talking but, about people. Credit dude called me talking about he's in fear of his life. Like he like yo, I'm in fear of my life, and these niggas took my money. I got I got seven or eight DMs of people that's four or five hundred thousand dollars, bro. Last night on the phone, you told me yo, this nigga owe me over half. You should do as far as like letting people know that you distance yourself, though. Um, if it so, this is this is what I just did. When I seen that message, when I seen the the, the you know somebody tagged me on it, right? Yeah. This is exact. This is exactly the message I sent to Caesar. I said, you need to fix this ASAP. I said, I gave you a platform to talk real estate and to help people. I said, the amount of calls, and I said this to him and his wife, I said, the amount of calls I received that you owe people money is crazy. I said, to the fact that lawyers reached out to me and are going to the authorities. People are telling me checks are bouncing. They're saying you're not calling people back. I said, authorities call me, ask if I want to be involved with a lawsuit. And I said, there's nothing I can do because you still owe me money. I said, love y'all to death, but I'm not looking crazy. I didn't take not a person's money, nor have I been involved with y'all taking people's money. And I beg you, when we first started seminars, not to take anybody's money, a celebrity, or nothing. I'm just telling you, if this is not fixed, this is going to be a huge problem, and I'm not being silent anymore. And I just said it like maybe 10 minutes ago. And like I said, I'm going to give them till I get back on Monday after the break. If, if all the niggas that say he owe money, he don't get that money back. Because even if he if he owes people money, niggas sell you. Sell, you got properties. I can't even sit here and lie. You got properties. You got, like, it's not like he's been old. It's not like no Jay Morris and shit where he ain't got no properties or whatever. He got land. Sell that land. Even if you got to sell it for the low, get them niggas their money back. Yeah, that, every that, last that, that. few moments later. Like, this is, when I say nuts, so I'm, I'm like, what? And the, and the thing with me is, I wish I could be like, well, that's on y'all. The nigga owe me money. And the nigga owe me half a ticket. Not 50,000. He owe me 500,000, my nigga. So think about it like this. If he owes me 500,000, a nigga that could get on the radio tomorrow and shit on him, you think he give a fuck about whoever was on your live? You see what I'm saying? Mm. This shit crazy. Man, I, I, I'm talking about my DM. They coming like every couple minutes right now. They just sending me shit. Whatever paperwork you got, send it to me because I'm going to send it to the attorney because, like I said, it, it, it's probably going to be a, a, a class action lawsuit. It's going to be nasty. It's going to be really, really, really nasty. It's like keeping it real, right? So how, how, has you, how has your business dealings been with Caesar? Some have been great, some haven't been. Some have been really good and I made a lot of money and some have been slow. And that's why I say when, when people invest money, sometimes it goes like this, right? And you know this, I didn't hit with, with Caesar a couple of times and flip money in less than 30 days. Some of my builders like the school we still got and I haven't got my money back yet. But I know that's part of the game. But I also do know there's certain things that need to happen. Like when it comes to Caesar, you know, we've had a conversation and I spoke to him and I spoke to Jen and I told him if he does, and I asked him personally, I said, do you owe people money? Does he owe you money? We have an investment together that we're going to sell. He does not owe me money. We partnered up on a property. We partnered up on a property does and he you owe, half. It's owe you money, DJ Envy? It's a school. Let me tell you. I, 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 you I, I, and I talked it. offline, DJ Envy. No, can't I'm going to tell you that. 100%. No, I'm going to tell you You can't do that, DJ Envy. Henry. I'm gonna tell you the truth. You gonna let me speak or we not? No, nah, but we gotta. Is, do, if we gonna tell the truth, we gotta tell we gonna, the truth. We gonna tell the truth. Now, now, now. We, we gonna we, we, we speaking the truth because I, I tell you everything. I talk to you offline. That's what I'm I saying. I told you, me and Caesar, me and Caesar, we bought a school. That's the only outstanding deal that we have. That school never came back. 
and that school is not done yet. When I spoke to Caesar today, he told I told him I have a problem, and he said I'm giving you your money back. That's it. So we don't have we don't have any dealings with each other. And I told and, and I even told you because when we had that conversation, I called him last night. I'm like, do you owe anybody money? Caesar told me no. He said there was people that we invested with that did well, and there was people that we didn't invest with that it takes a little longer. And I told him, nigga, whatever you need to do, give them people back their money. That's all. That's all it is. But when it comes to it, that's what it is. And he, and you find somebody else that that will, will talk to you on live in a minute to talk to you about the real because I honestly but you, you can but ask you know, people, listen, but you know you know we talked offline though. That's why I asked you the question. And it's like you know we personally and, offline. I mean, I know you might be wanting to still not really throw your man under, but like we talked offline. And we we spoke online yesterday. That's why I was kind of upset when you put out a, a picture of me because, and Caesar and DJ's and his partner owes all this money. And I'm like, damn, my nigga, we spoke last night. And I'm telling you, I would tell you, but a few moments later. Um, there's been a lot going on, Charlemagne. Like what? Don't say like what, man. There's been a, a million and one accusations. <gasps> oh my god, no. <laughs> I'm being serious. So so let me explain some things. I'm, I'm not, my attorneys don't want me to speak, but I think there's things that I need to clear up a little bit. I think you should listen to your attorneys. Why don't light-skinned people like to listen? Like, if your attorney told you don't say nothing, why are you talking? Listen, so Caesar and myself did seminars. Now, the reason I did these seminars is because I wanted to uplift my community. I wanted to teach my community about real estate, things that I didn't know when I was first buying my first home. I wanted to teach our community about investing in generational wealth. So I did these seminars and brought industry professionals to all these seminars, whether it was real estate agents from different markets, contractors, uh, conventional lenders, hard money lenders. I even brought auction.com to actually show people how to purchase houses online. That's what I wanted to do for my people. Now, Caesar, if he took money, I wasn't privy to it, nor did I even know. But I do understand how people feel if they did give him money, because I gave him a lot of money Jesus, that I didn't see a dollar of return. But for, for anybody to say I was involved, that's totally not true. I would never. I've been on this radio close to 30. I've been on radio close to 30 years and never in my 30 years time did I do nothing but try to uplift people and show people a different way through the business mind. And I would never take a dollar from somebody. I, I, I could be wrong, but I didn't see nobody accusing you of taking money. I just saw them say that they met Caesar because they heard you talking about Caesar. Nah, they, they basically said I was privy to it, and that wasn't true. I Not mean, at I, all. I, 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 from what I read in actual court papers, I didn't see that. They said that the, all these people are saying that they met Caesar because of you. Right, and they're saying I that. that nobody it, accusing you of taking no money. To the point where if, if you read the court documents, Caesar wrote an affidavit that says, DJ Envy, Rashawn Casey, had no knowledge of me investing people's money. I saw that too. He wasn't there. He wasn't part of those conversations. He wasn't even nowhere in those meetings. And those are, those are documents that's out there. So if we're going to talk about truth, let's talk about the truth. And those are the documents out there. And well, I you know you can't talk about the truth yet because your lawyers don't want you talking at all. So the smart thing to do is I understand you want to say something to the listeners, and, I, and, and I'm sure the listeners appreciate it. But man, just wait until all the dust settles. And when all the dust settles, then we can get on this radio and have a real conversation. Until then, I just, I don't, you know, I don't think you should be saying any of this, but, you know, that's just me. Look at you. You can't even help yourself. What else do you want to say now? Nothing. Okay. Nothing. All right. Uh, but. When the dust settles, okay. you can have a real conversation with, with the but audience. But it's difficult because the stuff that you're hearing is like, that's totally not true. Like, it's not true. Like, well, that should be, that's, that's fake news. Like, those are fake enough. stories. That should be enough. You know what the truth is. If you know what the truth is, don't worry about it because the truth don't need no defense. It just need the truth don't need no defense, just witnesses. That's All right. it. All right. All right. Well, hopefully. And by the way, you look very suspicious because you don't have your just for men in right now. So it's like the grades are coming in right here in the back and, it, and you need a little haircut. So it just makes you look like, oh. I just want to say this on closing. Oh, I've, never, I've never stole anything from anybody and I'll just leave it at that. What? You know what rhymes with what? 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 And from what I was told, you used to steal a lot of butt back in the day. See, that's, see, I can't. I'm trying to be serious here, and you're playing around. Good old, big old queen from Queens.